Hello everyone, it's me, Matsmus. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're looking at something a little different today in terms of gaming. It's a ship! Yes, it's not a tank, it's not me running around as an infantryman or an armored fighting vehicle. We're looking at the Black Swan of the Royal Navy, and we are looking at World of Warships. What an outstanding game that I have just recently gone into. The developer has just approached me and said, Hey, would you be interested in showcasing and promoting our game a little bit? I said, Hell yes. I would definitely be interested. It's been a long time coming. A lot of you have been asking me to play this game, and I have been putting it off, mainly for the fact I just haven't had the time. But when Wargaming approached me and said, Matt, we'd love for you to showcase this game to some new players, see if you're interested, I was like, yeah, makes sense. I'm a new player myself, so let's talk about it a little bit. So, folks, World of Warships, what is it about? Well, of course, as you can see, it's about blowing up other warships with your own warships. A whole host of different ships can be played in this game. Over three hundred different ships which is pretty impressive over many different nations of course i am primarily playing as the royal navy because well i'm british so it's going to be pretty inherent but there's a whole different host of nations and ships you can play as japan ussr germany and in fact uh, when i was doing my live stream i was actually playing as the hermelin which was a lot of fun with those big old guns rotary guns on the front there getting some nice ranged attacks when i did my live stream the other day a lot of you showed up and enjoyed that footage so i'm definitely going to be playing more of this game in the future the game is free to play and it is absolutely massive lots of different options and variables that you can have in this game whether it be upgrading modules trying different ships different missions all sorts of things now with world of warships you can basically command one of many different fleets ships um really really fun there's some historic ships in there too uss indianapolis to name a few um, you can unlock ships as you go and prepare to dominate the oceans in your own specific tech tree or way that you wish to go I really like the fact that you can kind of progress as you please in a nice slow pace. Being that it's free to play, you can, if you wish to, optimize to go for more premium um, ships if you want to purchase them. Which all you have to do is go to the premium uh, ship port with the in-game currency, use your doubloons to buy some ships, and get some really fascinating ships out there. And there's a ton of ships you can use. Um, it's very detailed, folks. The detail in this game is beautiful. I mean, just look at the friggin' background. We've got the Tower of London there, the Tower Bridge looking very nice. That's just the background. The ship itself, the wave effects are very, very nice in game. We are going to get into some gameplay here so you can actually see what the game's all about. But if you do have interest into getting into this game, now is the perfect time to do so. The reason for that is that the developer was very kind enough from Wargaming and World of Warships to give me a code for new players or first time players that will register on the Wargaming portal. So if you're new, you want to get into a ship and get on board, so to speak. Okay, I'm a dad. I'm allowed to say dad jokes, okay? But if you want to get on board with this kind of game, you can use a code that was kindly given to me to utilize in-game for the first time you register. The code is BATTLESTATIONS2020. It is in the description box below as well as on screen as we speak. There are two, With this code, you're going to get 250 doubloons, which is that in-game currency that you have up here. You're going to get three days of premium account access, which is going to increase your research points and currency that you get in-game for a few days, and also some other interesting features. You'll get a million credits, which is, again, the in-game exchange rate currency that you're going to use. One premium ship, the USS Charleston. So if you want to get a premium ship straight away, without even playing the game yet, you're going to get it with this code. And one more port slot, which is allowing you to increase your inventory of the ships that you have to play with. Now, the developers, you can tell, have a lot of passion in this game. This is from the level of detail and the excellent, um, you know, cinematics that they produced online. You see some of the footage that they've made of, like, cool little intros and videos and cinematics. They look outstanding um the game launched in 2015 i played this once back when i first got my new computer in 2016 as, as fun as it was uh for that first time that i played i just didn't have the time um wasn't able to get into it and then i kind of push it off and eventually here we are today so we're gonna do some gameplay next folks have a little bit of a play around um and see how we do the great thing about this game is you can really kind of tailor how you want to play and how you want to go against other ships. Similar to any other games that are out there, the free-to-play world, you can go against tiers, different tiers of players. The nice thing about World of Warships is that you can actually play against the AI for a little bit. And it was good for me, especially when I was in the live stream, kind of getting used to the dynamics of the game, how the engine works, how the ships work. So that you're not getting pummeled by high-level, high-skilled players. You can kind of practice a little bit before you go into the open seas and, uh, you know, jump into the deep end. 
I'm so pathetic. Um, into uh, into the game itself. So that's really, really nice because I hate going into a game and just getting pummeled straight away by people who have played this game for many, many years. Um, of course, I'm still going to get pummeled when I play a little bit later on against more high experienced players. But for now, it's just nice to kind of get your feet wet. <laughs> I'm sorry! They just keep coming to me um, in sort of practicing and getting used to the game. Now, in this particular ship, um, it's really nice to have the ability to, you know, go fast and go slow instead of just the high-speed, high, high speed, you know, destroyers or little sort of smaller ships. But at the same time, at the same time it's not, you know, you're running at Mach uh, 1 in speed or slow speed for the battleships because there's nothing worse than going really, really slow, not having that flexibility to move. So... There's a little bit of learning curve in this game too. You need to practice how ships work in terms... Oh, I'm actually in the... Uh, <laughs> I'm in the Hermelin. I didn't really... I forgot. I thought I was in the Black Swan. But that's okay. We'll get in the Hermelin. Um, yeah, so it does take a little bit of a learning curve. You've got to get used to how projectiles fly through the sky. Uh, the way in which you put dynamic lead onto your shots. You need to pay attention to what's going on. If you don't then you're not going to hit anything. The nice feature about the game, too, is that it's basically a WASD D control. I'm not going to go over the tutorial of how to play the game. There's lots of other videos out there uh, talking about how the game plays. I'm just going to get in some gameplay with myself and see how I do. Uh, this ship is fairly maneuverable, as you can see. She's got some good turning circle on her. The guns, being rotary, can just spin around on a dime, which is nice. Uh, I have four guns in total, so I have to make sure I use these effectively and not uh, just rush in and think I'm going to take on the world. I have my private yacht that you see on the side here. Um, so if I have you know, to stop the battle all of a sudden and go look at some penguins, I'm quite able to do so. Uh, as you can see, there's no ships that we see right now on the battlefield, or I guess on the ocean. <laughs> uh, we have to kind of spot them first. So you have the ability to get nice and close in with the guns. Uh, very nice view detail there. Or you can go into the binocular mode, I guess, which gives you the ability to do the ranged attacks and actually see what you're hitting. These guns have a substantial range on them for this kind of ships. So that's nice to have. And I guess now we just have to wait until we spot some ships to engage. As you can see, though, beautiful detail. Look at her cutting through the waves. Very, very pretty. Um, high definition gameplay, for sure, if you're interested in technical details and all sorts of stuff like that. You're going to have it. So she's a little, still a little far away from me, 10.9 kilometers away. Might be able to put a few rounds downrange on her, but not just yet. We're going to come around the back of this island here and see if we can scooch out some isolated ships. We've got one at 6.5 kilometers there. She's definitely a target we can engage. So let's give this one a bit of a thump. There we go. We are engaging a Royal Navy ship, so that's kind of ironic. We're going to try and come broadside a little bit more now. She's got some speed onto this one, so... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Let's keep it at that. I'm getting some hits myself now, so I've got to be careful. Okay, we're going to come around the side of this. We're going to get nice and tight here. This is going to get intense. I need no my, None of my boys are here. It's me against these two, so we're going to have to uh, play this little... A little careful here. I'm a little nervous. I've got two ships against me. Everybody else is kind of bailing off onto the the eastern flank, but that's okay. Okay, so she's really skull oh, crap. There we go. Okay, full ahead. I got some speed on this sucker. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Not getting any good hits on me, which is good. That's what I want. Another one there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we took one out. There's the other one. He's still ranging attack on other ships. I'm surprised he's not trying to focus on me. He knows I'm a high threat, but that's okay. We'll make advantage of that. He's trying to swing those guns around. Hopefully we can knock them out before he does. There, they're coming around nice and slow. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. We knocked one of his guns out. That's good. Slow it down a little bit now. So that's where you really want to be. You don't want to be full broadside to me, otherwise you're just going to have a really bad day. It's a thinner target for me to engage, but I don't think it makes much of a difference at this point. I think this guy's done for. Hitting off the husk of the dead ship there. There we go. Two ships destroyed. I'm happy with that. Oh, crud. Planes. Okay, let's see if we can get some more ranged attack here. We've got a one at 9.3 kilometers. We'll take a few rounds. It's a Frenchie! Take the Frenchie out. 
We'll see how that did. And it was a little too high. No, that's good hits. We'll take another hit on that. Our team has taken the lead. Just a little too much lead there. He's having this guy's having a bad day. The good thing about this ship is I can have rounds in the air, and as soon as the next rounds go in the air from the first salvo, I've got another one going. So a very high ranged attack at this point. I'm sure some of the bigger battleships. Yeah, he's out, out for the count. Some of the build, bigger battleships, the range of those guns must be insane. I mean, I'm working just with a smaller ship here, but once you get the big guys coming out, that's where it really starts getting interesting. Good hits there. The damage is, considering uh, some of the bigger, bigger battleships, the guns, you know, 16 inch guns can cause some severe damage. This is nothing. So, something to look forward to, guys. You know, if you really want to get into the big stuff and get into the premium world, then you can definitely do that, you know? Gotta watch out, I'm not getting my friends here. I'm gonna go for this big sucker here. Big French ship. French ship? American ship. Sorry. Sorry, America. <laughs> Full broadside there. Perfect target for me. There we go. We're just, we're just kind of skirting around the background here. No one seems to be coming for me. That's kind of what I want. That's a terrible shot, Matt. Looks like he's going into reverse right now, so... Got to compensate for that. Right on the bridge there. Come on, I want another kill. Give me another kill. Beautiful. Got a good range on him. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Let's take this Royal, Royal Navy ship out. It's a little sad seeing the Royal Navy flag getting pulverized like that, but you know, when in Rome, I've got to do my duty for the German Navy. For the Kriegsmarine, I guess. That double, that double salvo sounds amazing. A little bit too much lead on that one. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, let's get into the fight a little bit here. So, of course, you do have the ability, as I said, to go into the binocular view, but we're going to try and get a little closer in some battle here. Get into the close-up gun view. Just going to range in this ship a little bit here. There we go. So I only have the two guns at the front, so I've got to really get broadside if I want to use this properly. There we go. Get my other guns in the action here. There we go. Get some good hits there. Go lead the other way in this time. There we go. Beautiful. Looks just outstanding. There we go. Another ship destroyed. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's push back in again now and then. Bit of the left rudder. Left rudder? Port rudder. Goodness gracious, Matt. But you're in the Navy now. None of this left right. Silly shenanigans. I'm going to try and get a range attack on this ship. He's a little far away. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a hit from there, but... Okay, he's behind that island, so I haven't got much use of getting him from here. If I can squeeze a couple of rounds through this iceberg here in between them, I'll try. I don't think I'm going to get to him in time. I think they've pretty much taken him out at this point. So do you have the ability to capture points too, as you can see by these buoys in front of us now? Buoys! Uh, we can... Uh, we can capture positions too, but that's not how I play the games. I like to just destroy stuff. I don't want to capture stuff. It looks like we're about to win this match. Oh, there's still a ship out there somewhere. There he is, 9.7 kilometers away. Our victory is in sight. Let's see if I can get some projectiles on him. It's a little far out for me, I think. Full ahead. We are now capturing the base. Not that I really care, because like I said, I want to take out this other ship. We have another ship located that away. Same one as before. Get those beautiful guns broadsided, ready to go. And he's taking a pop at me. I like it. Good for you, buddy. 
Okay, we need to put a little bit of lead on this guy. He's traveling at quite some speed, so... That's what we want. A little bit of height, though. Gotta get gun two in the action here. Oh dear, that's not good. We don't want to be doing that. Woo! That was close. I love how the ship has dinghies on the top as armor. It's, it's like they're putting tank tracks on a Sherman instead they put it on the side of the ship. It's always, it's always fascinating to see dinghies put on the side. I might get my private yacht out in a minute. Take a look at some of the battle damage assessments. A little bit of a uh, sail around. Are the locals here enjoying the battle? Hello! I'll try not to engage you as this guy's coming to engage me. We've got Harry Potter's ship here. Looks like the flag of Gryffindor. You see that? You see the Gryffindor! It's Harry Potter's ship! Get a little bit more broadside here. Let's slow it right down. Okay, there we go. Back ahead full. We're going to get nice and tight to this guy. We're going to get into the battle. We're going to get right into him. Get my guns pulled around a little bit more. I just dodged that island. I'm going to have to keep just one gun to the front, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. He's around this island somewhere. There he is! Tally ho! Beautiful, beautiful, yes! Nice, I didn't do too badly there, I don't think. That's kind of fun. It's an addictive game, guys. Once you start getting some serious kills and some good, some good cash, I mean, I destroyed six ships there. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, no real real-time players. Most of them are AI and all that good stuff, but uh, that's okay. It's good for me to practice, get my confidence up so it can be easily shot down again when I get into a game with real players. But, uh, folks, honestly, I, I really do feel like if you've never played this game before and you're interested in naval warfare or just a game that's free to play and get into, play here and there, um, now's the time to get into it with that link uh, to uh, the war game, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, Wargaming uh, website. And make sure you use the code BATTLESTATIONS2020 to get into the game for the first time. 250 doubloons, 3 days of premium account, 1 million credits, uh, a premium ship, USS Charleston, and 1 port slot, which is really, really nice. Of course, there's many other uh, videos out there and, and a lot of promotion of this game right now. Whether you go check out some of the cool cinematics or just want to learn about the game more, you can definitely go do that. Check that description box below to find out more about the game. I would strongly encourage you to play it though, folks. I am definitely going to be playing it more in the future. Um, I think you can definitely come for sure in the future also squad with me. and We can have some, you know, some fun battles, whether we, you know, in the blistering heat of some desert island naval sea battle or in the icy waters of some Antarctic battle. Me and you could get together and play in the future. Make sure you check it out though. Uh, if you want to, links are in the description box below. Please feel free to check that out. A uh, bit of a thinking man's game, of course. You do need to have some, a little bit of, you know, thought and logic process to play in this game. Talking about, you know, tactics and all that sort of stuff. But for the most part, I think I would encourage you to just get into it. Have some fun. Enjoy the perks of the game. Get into these tech trees, into these models. Try out some of these new ships. Uh, some of the fancier ships that you can get. I mean, look, the turpits. Look how beautiful that thing is. Look, it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait until I can actually put some rounds down range on this thing. I mean, look at the size of it. Just incredible. It looks beautiful. But if you want to come play, again, I will see you next time on the next video. All the best, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.